Number four, show by suitable net ionic equations that each of the following species can act as a bronsted Lowry acid, and then we have letter A. So in this case, we just have to show via a net ionic equation that HNO3 acts as a bronsted Lowry acid. Now, bronsted Lowry are two scientists that independently came up with this idea, right, of what an acid is. And an acid always donates a hydrogen or a proton to a certain base. So that means that an acid, a bronsted Lowry acid, has to have a hydrogen in it. And, oh, well, in HNO3, here's the hydrogen, right? So this hydrogen basically is going to go bye-bye. Now, I wrote down the general information that we need to know uh, in terms of the net ionic equation for what bronsted Lowry acids do. So an acid will always turn into its conjugate base, and there's the hydrogen that it gets lost, right? The hydrogen that was on the acid. So in this case, HNO3. Now, I'm going to put these double arrows here just for context, right? Because if we're talking about acids and bases, uh, you know, nine times out of 10, they're going to be in equilibrium. Now, remember, this hydrogen gets lost, and that's the hydrogen, aka the proton, that's on the product side. So I will write that component. Now, the conjugate base is everything that's left over minus this hydrogen. So it would just be the NO3. So I'm just going to write NO3, right? So it would be NO3, and let me just make this a little bit, you know, there we go. And since we're dealing with acids and bases, we're in a water media. So that means that we're in aqueous. With net ionic equations, we do have to write states. So aqueous all around. We're almost there, guys. And now we just have to make sure that we have the correct oxidation state for the NO3. Now, some of you might be saying, I know this guy, this is nitrate, right? And nitrate always has a negative one charge. But you could always go by this. If you're going from an acid to a base, you're always gonna lose that one hydrogen, which is what we did. And then you're always going to subtract one or minus one from the original charge. Since there is no charge in the upper right-hand corner, there's zero. So zero, Minus one is a negative one. So both ways there. And that is your final answer. But I'm going to say that, remember when we did the molarity chapter and we ran through all of the acids and bases that were strong, strong acids and strong bases? HNO3 is a strong acid, which means that it will dissociate 100% into its ions. So Generally speaking, there's really not going to be any more of this. All of it is going to exist as either nitrate or the, the proton, aka hydronium, right? So we don't need double arrows in this case. We just need that one arrow. And now we are done. So here is your final answer. And that's it, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And tell your friends, tell your classmates that this cool YouTube channel exists. I think it's pretty cool. We also got math and uh, physics videos on the channel at the moment. So go check them out. All right. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.